There it is. A bench. A little bit bigger than what Granny had. But for me, to sit down on this branch, I'm having a flashback. I'm flashing back to 1953, 54, 55. I'm sitting at Granny's house in the country and she has no electricity and no running water. You we have both of those. You have both of those. Well, Granny didn't have them. Oh. And her table was about, her table was about that big. And I ate a menu meal sitting on her bench just like this. Don't you fall, baby. I thought you were talking about our house. I was like, we have no. Like, I'm talking about talking about my granny's house. My granny's house, and it was it was about her house was about from the center of this door right here back to that wall. That's how small it was. That's how small it was. I can never live. And you would walk into the living room right here, and there'd be a small sitting area, and there's a fireplace right there, and they heated with wood. They didn't have no, yeah. They didn't have no uh, central heat and air. And when you walked in to the left right there was a door that went into the first bedroom. And then you walked from the living room into the dining room. And in the center of the dining room was another door to the left was the door to the second bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. You went on down in the kitchen, there was another door to the left, and that was to the third bedroom. She had a three-bedroom house, a oh. living room, dining room, and a kitchen. And in the kitchen was a wood stove, what she cooked on. And there was a cabinet there that didn't have a sink in it, a lot of water. It had three dish pans there to wash dishes and stuff. And she cooked on that wood stove. She'd get up in the morning, about 4.30 in the morning, and fire it up and cook breakfast and she would have biscuits and meat, ham, bacon, sausage, eggs, grits, anything you want, gravy, red eye gravy. Mm -hmm. and she'd have it ready for daylight because the men had to go to work at daylight. And on the back porch out there, she had a shelf and you had to tote, tote water in there. Well, when she got through cooking and put the stuff on the table, she would take and set those dish pans on that stove and one in the oven full of water to heat up to wash the dishes after the men folks got through eating. Hey, times were different back then. I remember pumping water. You had to pump water. You had to prime that pump every time. They had water sitting there by the pump and jugs and jars and stuff. You just pick one of them up and pour it in, prime that pump. Me and my brother had to tote water for granny and we could tote a bucket together about two and a half gallons. I think it was called a 10 quart bucket. And we'd set it up on the porch and Granny would set it up on the shelf so we wasn't big enough to set it up on the shelf. But we had to pump and tote water when we was four or five years old. Make sure Granny had plenty of water to wash dishes and everything. Can I show them our map? Huh? Can I show them our you can, map? I will show them the map in a minute. And then uh, she would cook. And they heated that house by the fireplace and by that wood stove. They would run both of them in real cold weather, but just in normal well, Florida weather, they would just run the uh, kitchen stove. So people would sit in the dining room because it was warmer than the living room and they would sit, sit around, stand around in the kitchen and talk. Hey, it was a fine life. She had no indoor plumbing. She had an outhouse. She didn't even have electricity. I remember when REA built the power line up to her house. We went up and watched them build the power line. It was so exciting. Hey, life was simpler back then. We played in the sand bed there, caught grasshoppers and dragonflies. And we'd catch a dragonfly and tie a string to it. And that was our helicopter. We, we'd, fly that, we'd fly that dragonfly all over the place oh, with bugs. that string. Uh -huh, you hate bugs? Hate we didn't bugs. hate them. Uh, we'd catch them. Uh, fireflies. Look, you gave me the chills. Uh, you got the chills. She got goosebumps all over her. We'd catch fireflies in a jar and make a flashlight. Hey, life was good. It was fun. 